Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went to Hammerfall and completed the triage quest chain. And we got that done and leveled up our first aid to 269. Not too bad. And today, we are going to be doing Zulfarak. Because we got into a Zulfarak group while on our way to Hammerfall. It was pretty nice of them to summon me. Shout out to Aramut and Trivex. Getting the group together. Look at that. Mage hooking me up. I gotta start buffing people up. Um, I also need to get a brick. That ore is good. Actually, I probably want might. I wonder what he is. The mage wants wisdom. The true Pharaoh wants might. Trivex wants my. Don't know if I have a pallet. We'll see what happens. We got a couple quests too. We got Tiara the Deep, which is nice. And we actually have the Gazrilda quest, which is the quest I was talking about where you get Karen on a stick. Problem is, we won't be slaying Gazrilla today. Maybe it's a good idea for us to, uh. At the end of the dungeon, probably run out of here and pick up the. Light point uh, at Gadget Sand. Okay, looks like he's using salve. Yeah, I got a red aura. I don't know what aura this guy's using. Hopefully, we're not both using red aura. We are, maybe I'll change to devotion. So I should be getting two different ones right now. Let's get buff his pet. There we go. Never forget about hunter pets, guys. Hunter pets are important as well. Rid of this triage combined. Yeah, we won't be fighting Gazrilla today. No one has the mallet. But one day we will come back to Uzulfarak and take down Gazrilla. So there we go. He's using Devo or uh, now. That's good. And we're pretty buffed up. The only thing we don't have is a shaman. And we would be pretty damn buffed. Looks like our the druid is uh, the healer. If I'm not mistaken, so wisdom. Probably put this up just so we can see what's going on here. Paladin is getting destroyed by the fuck and delete it. This druid needs to heal a bit more. So maybe I will be off healing a bit. There's something I want to do. Before we pull, it's a nice, really nice helmet. Pretty damn good. Go. All right, let's drink up. And we will head over to interface, go to names, friendly players we don't want on. I just don't like the look of friendly players nameplates being on. So I take it off. I'd rather just see the enemy. Alright, let's deal with this uh, witch doctor.
Get him. Oh, he <laughs> should have kicked that heel. Got a slab of spread to him. Get that down. So one thing I will say, this group is not as decked as the group I was in with my shaman. We were just mowing these trolls down. I think I was the lowest level in that group. So this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, which I actually think is more fun. See if we can we'll wipe, maybe. I think we'll be okay as long as we don't pull more than a couple bags. Oh, he resisted my stun? From the back, too? It's like I'm hitting him in the back and he resists it? That's rough. I say we damage from the mage here. Everybody up. Nice totem. Oh, this is so cool. I totally forgot about this. I used to do this in class, if you just jump this. That's how it's done, boys. Gotta get on the mount ski. Don't skip. We need XP. <laughs> okay. Alright, looks like we're not skipping, guys. Yeah, you can jump this, as long as you need a mount, though. If you don't have a mount, you're not doing it. Or you gotta have, like, rocket boots or something. That increases your speed. Mages used to go up there when I uh, used to tank that. I used to tank in like uh, spell cleaves for XP. A lot of mages would like run up here in like AoE. And if they ever got in trouble, they just jumped down. Yeah, we need XP. This Paladin might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal him. I don't know why he's. Go, let's help him out. Let's get this blood drinker down. Good, now get the witch done. Yeah, I didn't get that kick. Terrible. I'm not gonna get this one either. Get rid of this healing staff, maybe. And then totem, maybe. There we go, not bad. We're all low mana. We should probably get the mage to pull here. Actually, he's pulling more stuff. So I guess we'll keep him sheep. Please don't pull that other pack. It's gonna run soon. Nice. Got a nice rock there. Armor, seal of command. I'm actually hitting these guys pretty hard. Alright, nice. Got that down. Got a little interesting there for a second. Oh, scarab shells. So we got another quest. We gotta pick up scarab shells. Scarabs. Denaris have very hard shells. Hard enough to use a building material for a lot of things. So many things. In fact, those shells are so useful. Scarabs were hunted all to near extinction. I know where there are more scarabs, and if you promise to bring me their shells. Troll temper. <laughs> right, we got even more quests. That's good. I'm happy these guys are divine o rod. 
gosh. Look at all this stuff we're getting. Tons of quests to do. Probably won't finish them all in this run. Which is good because probably coming back anyways to get Kazrilla. But yeah, back with back to scarab shells. I know where there, there are more scarab shells, and if you promise to bring me their shells, I'll tell you where they are where they are, I promise. Okay, the scarabs have a colony in Zulfarak. I guess the trolls don't hunt them for the shells, but you can go to Zulfrak and get me on crack shells. Alright, so we'll try to do that. The drop rate's pretty damn bad. I wasn't able to finish it on my shaman. We slayed a decent amount of, uh, of scarabs. Alright, steal the Shadowcaster. Nice. Right, so I guess we'll have a little bit of the, the mana that uh, the mage gave us. It's not as good as our Morning Glory do, but it's good to use when we're a little low. We don't want to drink bull. <laughs> want a big bull? No, you're taking a beating. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he is taking a beating. That is true. This will buff up again while we're chilling out here. With the pet back buffed. Yeah, he's getting hit pretty hard. But he's pulling well, and that's all that matters. Oh, scarab time. Ooh! Truck that scarab. 500. Paladins are awesome for that. Stun this guy. Drop a hammer on his head. We go, yeah, the witch doctor. <laughs> this is gonna be a real, a real, uh, gonna be over an hour, guys. 100%. <laughs> We're taking so long just to pull these. Come on, just go in, man. You go. Can you drop a heal? Yeah, another witch talk. Bring this guy back. Get him to consecrate. Got a little flame totem there. Cloth helmet. A lot of people should get upgrades from here. What's this goblin gumbo kettle? He's got some goblin gumbo. Certainly spicy goblins too. No nutritional value. Occasionally belch rank goblin breath for five minutes. That's funny. Haha. <laughs> Nasty, man. Huh? Come on, tank. 
go with the goblin breath. Let's go, come on, we can easily pull this stuff. I don't like the rush tanks, but like, sometimes they can just, you know. I think when uh, the druid told him, like, don't pull, like, don't do big pulls, he took it a little too seriously. Because <laughs> we can pull, like, you don't have to pull super slow. Like, he could pull into this, man. Like, we still have tons of mana. I'm the one who's the lowest right now. Go. Let's get on the shadow caster. Just the one who heals. I want him to do the shadow bolt. Just the one who heal, to be honest. Okay, that was good. That's right, burp on him. Just gonna switch. Must be nice being a mage, just drop Blizzard and Frostbolt. And when you run out of mana, you just pull out the wand. <laughs> little group. Little group. Imagine a whole raid with that. That'd be so funny, like a 25-man burp. Or in class, like a 40-man burp. Yeah, nice pull by the druid. It's got LOS, this guy. I just don't want to pull anything. Yeah, that was good. So we'll drink a bit of water while we'll decide how we're pulling this big pull here. That's a nice pull. I'll save my Hodge for when he runs away. Stick that. I'm gonna stun him here. Oh, not bad. Oh, this is gonna be the pull. All right, pulling them all. I wonder if this sheep one will trigger this one here. Oh yeah, we also leveled up, guys. I didn't even notice. Let's get another rank of fanaticism. I believe increases our crit. We'll be okay. Increases our critical strike chance of judgments at 12%. I think it also reduces threat as well. This guy will probably run soon. Sorry, burp on him. There we go, we got our first troll temper. Actually moving along pretty good. That pole usually wipes a lot of groups. So it's good that we were able to get by it. I guess I'll uh, buff up again. Looks like buffs are somewhat falling off. Not sure where the hunter went. Is he back there? There's his pet. Yeah, there he is. 
Imagine I buffed the pet only and not him. That would be funny. <laughs> I wish I could buff and raid on my rogue, but I, I can't. Actually, I don't wish that. The buffing is kind of a pain. But, uh... It would be funny to do that. Just don't buff the hunter, just buff his pet. And be like, I did buff you. It's not that funny, but I don't know. I get a chuckle out of it. Oh, we just done that. Oh, we missed. It's too bad. Get that, though. Now, pretty sure we want to go this way, right? Where we want to go up here? We'll have a drink. Switch doctor might pull though. We have lost self. I don't even think we need so. We need it though. Can't kick that. This guy really wants the XP. Going out of our way at this shadow hunter. This soul eater is gonna pull soon. Gonna stun him. forward going pretty quick there he is deck of the martyr Whatever you do, don't drop Consecrate, man. No. It's like we are going to be fighting a bunch of scarabs. I actually pulled one with my uh, Arcane Torrent. Yeah. Look at all these scarabs, though, man. I'm going to on that. Get him down! Now he's gonna get this mage will completely wreck this. Gotta help this mage here. Let me guess, no scarab shells. It's usually how it goes. shooting? 
is shooting through the through the mountain there. Pull this guy back. Not a bad neck. It's not better than our neck. We just got a pretty good neck. Nine stamp, 20 attack power is pretty good. Don't get too close to the cave. Or we'll pull the boss. I honestly think I could take this. I'm not going to, though. I'm pretty good. I got, I got aggro on this guy. Get aggro on this guy. Hold it, too. So when we get a little wild. Two-handed tank is the way to go. That's how the warrior was doing it in our last group. Surprised they don't have egg rub. It's truck in that guy. Nice, we cleared it out. Good time to have a drink. Then we'll probably kill this boss. Don't think we have to pull that. Probably kill the boss and these two guys, even if they do pull. See if I can tank. It's not bad. Doing all right. has arrived, my beautiful children. Tear them to pieces. Let's kill these guys. I can kick that. Get the healing ward down. Fire Nova Totem. Oh, he's immune to it. I know he was immune to our Hodge. Oh, nice hands. I need those. I 
think the pal, other pal, will probably need him as well. Yeah, you want him. Grats. Grats to the tank. I wonder how badly we needed those. Actually, not that badly. They're literally one... It's probably more armor on them. Yeah, a lot more armor. And... What? Yeah. Oh, he's trading him to me. It's good for me. Like, I would take it, but... I think it might be soulbound for him. It's fine when picked up. Yeah, it's... It's already his. He can't trade it. Nice of him to, uh... To think about that, though. All right, so let's get everybody buffed up again. Looks like we're getting a bunch of these scarabs. I think we got a mage. The F is just so much better with a mage. It's a nice back piece. It's not it's better defensively, but not better offensively, so. I'm just gonna skip it. Should probably drink. Right? This guy got all this, all the shells. It's true. Better watch out. Druid, stay alive. Lay on hands. There you go, Mr. Druid. He will not die. But maybe I will, because now I don't have lay on hands. I thought he was dead. Alright, let's drink up. Nice, got another scarab shell. Actually, getting pretty damn lucky. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to finish it. Mage is doing. There we go. Just had to wake him up. All right. So now we're heading into the zombie area. Don't think I'm getting uh, any scarab shells anytime soon. I think that's the end. Probably won't get five. Uh, who knows? Only need one more. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm going 
how to do it or whatever. Just gonna get that down. Yeah, ZF's a pretty big dungeon. Takes a while. So we're halfway through here. There's the boss. The cool thing is we don't have to open these. There was actually a farm you could do here where you open up all of these as a mage. And then... You AOE all the all of them down. And you could actually reset it, which is pretty cool. You could like jump up here, I believe. Or one of these spots like up here. You can jump up here, and then up here, and I would reset it. And then... After... Yeah, well, that's how you reset all the zombies, and the zombies would all be up. And then... You can jump down on your mount. Oh, there's the zombies. I can't mount. Damn it. Ah, sands consume you. Yeah, they give a decent amount of XP. You get a lot of XP from zombies, and you actually make good gold. I guess we pulled a lot here, so we're gonna have to kill these zombies. Not sure. Gotta get rid of these wards. I should heal this mage. Give him most of the damage. Can we have shadow bolts? Get off the zombie! This mage is healing through zombie smacks. It's not good. Live, dude. Man. But we gotta get rid of this ward of Zumra. It's getting a little wild. Cloth hands. Which I like saved my way on hands. Gotta make sure one of the paladins stays up. I'm gonna heal the tank. Go. Looks like he's on, on different targets here. Good. There we go, so we can res him. Got lucky there. Good we got res. It's one the thing that sucks about being a druid. You only have battle res. So if you use them all during a dungeon, then you end up not being able to res at all. I wonder where the druid died. I think inside here. He's got him. Let's heal up this mage. Good 
This will buff everybody up. There we go, I'm out of mana. Looks like the druid needed that. It's good. I wonder why he said what the fuck. For need who like the mage need rolling on it? Why oh, is mage? Maybe he was just talking about the fight. All right, so here we go. We're not doing the... Are we doing these? I don't want to do these. Skip the graves. Skip the graves, dude. There's no fucking point in doing these. There's no point in doing graves, man. Like, you get a little bit of coin. This guy's saying it's easy XP. That's true, but it's not a lot. This guy's really making a point to do these. Oh, man. The, the, the thing that sucks is the, sh the mage is in here. Like, we need the mage. Oh, man, it's true, I tell you. It's not bad with the mage, because you can open, like, a bunch of them. But when it's just, uh, just me and the hunter, it's kind of, it's kind of rough. So we used to do a run where we would only do ZF up to this area. But you would actually, like, try to skip as much stuff as you can. Come here, open all the graves, leave, and then come back. And then open the graves again. So it is good XP if you can do it fast. Thing is, you need mages. What you do is you get a tank to open it up. He runs around, groups them all up. Mages go in Nova. Start blizzarding them all down. Go open them up. We don't want to attack anything. I don't want him to hold aggro. We gotta open more than that. I think it's probably smart that he doesn't. But I think this mage could easily. It's got a blizzard. There we go. Should be able to wreck these things. Our group just sucks for this. Which is kind of why I wanted to skip it. It's going to take us a long time to do it. Because we, the hunter's single target, I'm single target. The tank isn't like, you know... It's not the tankiest of tanks to where he can like... Open up like 10 graves at a time. I've got a blood drinker here. Just thinking like me, he doesn't want to do this. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's 
It's not how you do it. You don't do it like two grapes. You do like what you want to do is you want to open all of these, like this whole row, and then stop, and then open this entire row. I'm gonna tell him to do it. This will be fun. If we die, we die. I don't know why he's to like, disarm the trap, dude. Doesn't help, man. Oh, I don't know. lost a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll heal this, uh... Heal the tank. Want the mage to do all the damage. It's not like I do much, anyways. I want to save my Hodge for the mage. That's how it's done, guys. You can even pull more than this. You could honestly pull the entire room. I think we would get rocked though if that happened. These are nice, uh, nice crystals. Yeah. Didn't get them all open, but got a lot of them open. Yeah, this one, this one. It'd be cool if I tanked. So much easier with a paladin tank too. Like in classic, all you had was a druid or a warrior. Paladins didn't have consecrate. And consecrate's it's just insane aggro. One, two, run over here. We're gonna switch off. Look at that, they're just doing great. They don't even need me. I can heal. This is what I do. It's my job. Keep our mage safe.
Drop your consecrate, dude. Consecrate. Okay, good. Now, mage, do your work, bro. Good job. Guys, we did it. That's kind of how you do graves. Another cool way of doing it in classic was a mealy cleave. And you would get a shaman with like, most, usually like a resto shaman with like four warriors. Or an Inant Shaman could get in there. And we would all have Ravagers, which is the axe that you get from Scarlet Monastery. And it's every time you, uh, you have a chance to proc like a, a Whirlwind. And you and then with, when you have Wind Fury down, if you're a Horde, you know, you're lucky enough to be a Horde, you can proc it, you have like a chance to proc wind fury which has another chance to proc the the ravager whirlwind so it'd just be like a group you know just spinning like crazy so you do like a line of those and you just you know have a bunch of warriors and a shaman just spinning like mad i think they were a lot more fun than spell cleaves spell cleaves all right it's just a bunch of blizzards But one cool thing about spell cleave is sometimes you could run it without a tank. It'd be like a priest, warlock, and then like three mages, and the warlock would pull with an Aya Gul'dan. I always thought that was kind of cool. No, he's healing. Can you take that? Nope. Get rid of that lava spell too. Yeah, that was fun. I was complaining at the beginning about the, the graves. But once we got the mage in there, it became much more fun. Without a mage, it would have been, would have been a long grave session. Let's steal the switch talk to him. Now we're about to save Sar Sergeant Bly. I think this tank likes big pulls. I, I think we should do more big pulls. Should pull all these guys, the Dust Wraith, and just run right into that camp. Doesn't have one, I assume. Just get in there, bro. Get in.
Got a nervous tank. Full mana. Maybe he wants me to pull. Or what is he doing? Is he like waiting for that mage to drink? Oh, he's got it. There we go. Get them all. I like the annoying DPS. The tanks hate. I was <laughs> telling you to pull faster. <laughs> I don't tell him that though. I'm not toxic like that, but... Because I remember tanking and like people being... You know, pushy with me back in Classic. And I didn't know the dungeon. Get this guy easy. Should probably should have pulled him with the group. There we go. Let's go, tank. Let's go. Nice one handed mace. Alright, so here we go. Heading up the Aztec Pyramid. It's time for us to slay the Sand Fury Executioner. I think we could LOS if we ran up, so turn me into a frog. It's gonna be cool when shamans get that ability hex. I think they get it in wrath. Alright, here we go. We're heading on up. Let's fight this guy. Get him. Let the executions begin. Let the executions begin. Is this my punch? So I need more spell hit. I guess but it's spell hit, right? Hand of justice. Hammer of justice is a spell. Alright, let's let him out. Well met. Need help? Can I help you? Help! My band and I have been captured by trolls and I'm going to sacrifice us. Get us out of here and I'll give you anything you want. For the Alliance. For the Alliance. Time is money, friend! Strength and honor! Hey there. What's on your mind? Put Righteous Fury on for this. Put Righteous Fury on, he says. Hmm. Don't even know what that is. Let's see what that means. I think that means red aura, right? Just fury. Blessing of freedom, devotion. Increases threat generated by your holy spells by 60%. What the heck? I'm. DPS! <laughs> no wonder I don't know about that. Why would I want to do that? I'll put it on. Maybe I'll be able to pull off the tank here. Let's see what happens. If he wants me to pull off the tank or something. The thing is, we have a uh, salve up, so it's going to be hard for me to pull off of them. Go, mage. 
Go, mage, go. Save the mage. Get so much XP from this dungeon. I don't think we'll hit uh, level 48, but we're almost likely to be like close to uh, like five bars away, I'd say. Be so awesome doing triple mage here. You just completely wreck all these trolls. Just stacking the blizzards. Or even better, four mages. I wonder how that would be. Four mages and a priest. F fighting the bosses would be interesting. I think it's doable. Taken off right just here. It's just it's not doing anything. All right, well that's a lot of trolls right there. That's not enough. More are coming. This guy coming up solo. Crazy how it just keeps like you get more and more and more. I don't know. If, I don't ever remember it being like this. Like, did in TBC did they increase the amount of trolls you get here? So it does feel like you get fight a lot more. I wonder if we could just go down there and just take them all out. I'm dead. That's a troll. <laughs> XP mage. Oh, there it is. Necrum Shadow Priest scissors.
don't know about you guys, but this XP is really good. Cool. It was much better than the zombies. <laughs> I don't remember, like... I think he's thinking the same thing. I don't remember there being this many zombies. The last time... Or this many mobs to fight the last time you're on this pyramid. Usually it's just like a couple waves. Look at that. Summoned them all. Nice pair of leather pants for that druid. I think that's Reds the Dead. Probably should have kicked that. I wonder if we get XP for these guys. I think we do. Yeah, that ability isn't rested there. I think that just happens during the fight. I got five troll tempers off that one. Alright, so now it's time. Gotta have a chat with Sergeant Bly over here. dare you say that to me after all we've been through well, I didn't like you anyway <laughs> gotta get grim gut the team. And there he is, Bly, the last man standing. Keeps popping defensive stance over and over again. There we go, we got the Divine Omatic Rod. It's ours. Alright, off to the final boss. I think it's still worth it for us to run out of here. Is this a mine? Looks like it was like a mine. Yeah, the final boss, and then I think it's worth it for us to go to Gadgetstan and get the, the flight point. Yeah. 
So we'll do that after, even though it's this episode's over an hour. It's still probably worth doing. Save us a trip having to run down a thousand needles. Yeah, we didn't get really get any loot from this place. Kind of a shame. You always hope you get some kind of loot from a dungeon, but sometimes that doesn't happen. the guardians no. get them all Use a lot of the mage waters, which is good. And here we are with the final bosses, Ruzlu and Chief Urkos. Urkors, I mean. <laughs> Final battle. We've made it here. It took us over an hour and 14 minutes, but we made it. Didn't wipe once. Jankthra has the protector. Good luck. Rare drop. That'd be nice for the paladin. I want a thar. <laughs> it's right, you want a thar. Get that. Let's get it. These desert be mine. It's immune to my... To my hodge. I hate when that happens. Sucks out boss. Well, I guess it makes sense. We kind of lay the bosses where we're not immune. We just stun them. Alright, the final guy. The Sand Fury reigns supreme. Yeah, we got a ton of XP. Almost Field where I thought we'd be. Almost five bars away from level 48. What did we get? Plate shoulders. Ooh, very nice. I'll need those. If the other paladin wants them, I totally understand. GG, guys. But now it's time for us to move off. We need to ride back. One more quest. What does he mean, one more quest? What quest is he talking about? Oh! Oh, yeah, the tiara. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Let's go here. Oh, wow, 
Wow, the tank got the shoulders too, man. A little jealous. We have some decent shoulders, though. So. I don't mind. It's gonna be a long run back. I don't know. Maybe we won't do it, guys. I don't know if we'll head over to Gadgetstan. It's gonna take us another like 20 minutes. Because we can't cut through here. Like, I think that would be my goal. To cut through there. I if I could find. What's her name? Where is she? Is that her? Yeah, that's her right there. She's running around and around and around. Three, two, one, pull. LOS. Shouldn't be able to shoot me from here. It's pretty stupid. No, oh, okay, I shoot the mage. Yeah, the mage is destroying this guy. It's a trap! There we go. GG. And that's how you do it, guys. Good game. We did it. These guys want to do it again. Well, I can't do it again. Unless we had the mallet, I would. But. Yeah, that was good. Got it done. Pretty good group. Didn't wipe once. And we'll be back. So we had a couple more quests to do here, but we'll be back. We'll finish them off. I don't mind doing it again and getting these eight troll tempers, one more scarab shell. We got the TR of the Deep and Divine Omatic Rod, and then we just need to get the mallet for Gazrilla. Yeah, it looks like we're going to head over to Gadget Stand, guys. We'll get this flight point. Oh, it looks like things are spawning again. Can we get by without getting knocked off our mount? Hopefully we can. And we're doing it. It's when you know you've been in here for a while, so when things start to spawn back. Head out. Gotta get by these guys. Hopefully, don't get dismounted. And I got to go. Thanks for. Looks like they're losing their paladins. But yeah, it was a good group. The zombie pulls were fun. Actually, I kind of enjoyed it, even though I was kind of complaining about it at the start. <laughs> but it got fun when we started actually pulling more than one pack. Or like three at a time. The big pulls are fun to do. It sucks when you wipe, but... When, uh... 
it's, when you're about to die, they always like you know get you on the edge of your seat. So I believe the horde ones in the in the front. You can call it the back, I guess. It's at the northern part of Gadget Sam. it is. Let's get it. And there we go. We discovered the flight point. Now it's time to hurt back to the other side of the world. We're heading all the way over to Hint the Hinterlands Raven Tusk Village. And there we go. Yeah, guys, that was a long one. The next episode, we will be questing in Raven Tusk Village. And get on our journey to hopefully get them out but that is the end of today's episode as always thanks for watching keep your heads up later